All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Chris, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, please enjoy this video. Go check out some of my other ones. I've got gameplays of Call of Duty, FIFA, Rage, Dead Island, NHL. I've got a variety of games, so go check those out and leave some feedback for me. So, today I'm going to be going over the Modern Warfare 3 perks. If you're new to the Call of Duty franchise, basically the perk system is there are three perks for each class. There is a total of 15 perks, and there are two versions of each perk, the basic and the pro version. The pro version is a upgraded version of the basic version. So, there are three tiers as always. There's a total of 15 perks. Um, every player is going to have three, like I said, unless you are using the specialist strike package. Uh, eventually, if you are on a good streak with a specialist strike package, you will be able to have all 15 perks in the game, but that will be in a different video. So, you're going to go ahead and go into slot one of the perks. There is going to be Recon, Sleight of Hand, Blind Eye, Extreme Conditioning, and Scavenger. Recon and Blind Eye are new to the f Call of Duty franchise. Recon perk. Um, it basically, whenever there's any damage from explosives, you know, grenades, noob tubes, um, it will show the target on a mini map. Recon Pro, any bullet damage will show the target on the mini map. So any uh, any hit mar hit markers that we get, and the dude decides to run away, you'll be able to see which direction he goes. Next is going to be sleight of hand. We've had sleight of hand before. Nothing new. Faster reloading. Sleight of Hand Pro swaps weapons faster, meaning switching from primary to secondary weapons. Um, next is Blind Eye. Blind Eye is also new for the Call of Duty franchise. Blind Eye, you are undetectable by air support and sentries, almost like cold blooded from Modern Warfare 2. Blind Eye Pro launchers lock on quicker for shooting down air support, which is huge. Also, extra bullet damage versus air support, so it's almost like Stopping Power Pro they brought in. Next is Extreme Conditioning. Extreme Conditioning is also something we've had before. Extreme Conditioning, you get to sprint for longer distances. Extreme, extreme Conditioning Pro, you can climb obstacles faster. And the last perk in Tier 1 is Scavenger. We have had Scavenger before. Basically, you reload from ammo bags that drop from dead enemies or your dead teammates. Scavenger Pro, you start with more ammo. Now, I don't know if these perks unlock um, at different levels like they usually do, or or if they're all available except the last one. I don't know. Um, on the website that I'm looking at, the only one that has a level unlock for it is Scavenger, which is the last one in the tier. It says level 39 is when it is, un is, when it is unlocked, so we will just have to wait and see. Alright guys, on to tier 2 for the perks. Tier 2, we're going to have Quick Draw, which is new for Call of Duty. Blast Shield we've had, Hardline we've had, Assassin is new to the franchise, and Overkill. Another 5 to pick from. Quick Draw, you have faster aiming, that's all it says. I'm not sure what to, what to think of that. Quick Draw Pro, you can recover from equipment and grenade usage quicker. Faster aiming, um, I guess you just pull up your, your sights faster. Um, just in general, I'm not sure. Quick Draw Pro, um, again, you recover from placing equipment like claymores or C4 and uh, throwing grenades. You, uh, you make that animation just a little bit quicker. Blast Shield is next. Um, Blast Shield, you have increased explosive resistance. It's just like Flat Jacket. Blast Shield Pro is you are resistance, resistant two stun and flash grenades so basically they've combined tack mask and flak jacket and combined it into one to make blast shield the third perk in the tier two slot is going to be hardline hardline we have had before kill streaks require one less kill nothing new there hardline pro death streaks require one less kill Something new for Hardline Pro, every two assists count as a kill towards your point streaks in Modern Warfare 3. Which is huge, I get so, so many assists. So those those uh, those assists are going to really add up now. Next is going to be Assassin, go ahead and quote me now, Assassin is going to be the most overused perk. 
in Modern Warfare 3. Guarantee it. Check it out. Assassin. Undetectable by UAV, portable radar, thermal, and heartbeat sensors. <coughs> Assassin Pro. You are immune to counter UAV and EMPs. It does not say being immune to you advanced UAV, which is something I am probably going to be going to be running as one of my uh, one of my point streaks. Also, no crosshairs, and your name does not show up when you are targeted by enemies. And the last perk in tier two is overkill. Overkill, you get to carry two primary weapons. Um, it says it's unlocked at level 47. Whether or not that's true, I do not know. I guess we'll find out. Overkill Pro, your secondary primary weapon. Second, yeah, secondary primary weapon. Um, you can equip two attachments on it. So that is, uh, I've I don't really use it, but I know there's some people out there that that might use it. I don't know. All right, guys, two, three to finish out the perks. Um, finish out the 15. We're going to have Marksman, which is new for the franchise, and Stalker, which is also new to the Call of Duty franchise. You're going to have Sit Rep, Steady Aim, and Dead Silence. Those last three we have had before. Marksman, in my opinion, this is going to be one of the most important perks for snipers. I'm talking about like the snipers that use sniper rifles, how they are meant to be used. Not the little kids who run around trying to quick scope and get montage footage. I'm talking about actual snipers who sit in the back um, and use snipers how they are meant to be used. Marksman, you get to identify enemy targets at longer range. Marksman Pro, increased breath holding time. That's why I say that is going to be awesome for snipers. Uh, next is Stalker. Stalker is again new for the Call of Duty franchise. Stalker, you get to move faster while aiming down your sights, which I love. I'm going to be a big user of Stalker. I love being able to strafe, move around while I'm aiming, aiming down sights, hoping my opponent cannot keep up with my movements. Stalker Pro, you get to delay enemy claymore explosions, which is huge. I love that pro version of Stalker. It's going to be insane, man. Next is Steady Aim. Steady Aim we have had as well. Steady Aim, you have increased hip fire accuracy. Steady Aim Pro weapons are ready faster after sprinting. I love that. It's probably going to be on one of my one of my Russian classes. Guarantee that. Um, and the last but not least, Dead Silence to finish out all 15 perks. Uh, Dead Silence, you get to walk, sprint, and jump almost silently. Dead Silence Pro, no fall damage. They brought in Commando Pro perk uh, for Dead Silence Pro. That's huge. Um, it says that's going to be unlocked at level 55. So I guess we will have to wait and see if that's true or not. So guys, that's it. That's all 15 perks. Um, what some of my uh, my favorite uh, perk combinations? Definitely sleight of hand is going to be one of them. Sleight of hand, probably quick draw, and probably stalker is going to be one of my favorite setups. Next is probably going to be blind eye assassin. And Dead Silence, that's going to be one of my, you know, one of my stealthy classes. Uh, go ahead and call it the camper class. I don't camp, but, you know, it's, uh, they're there, so why not use them? Another class I'm probably going to have a lot of fun with is going to be Extreme Conditioning. Uh, Hardline and probably Sit Rep. Um, that'll be good for when I'm running around the map. Uh, be able to point out, uh, Claymores, um, all those kinds of things. Scavenger, I really don't use. Um, let's see what else. Recon, recon, I'm gonna have to check out. Um, being able to see where enemies are after you get some uh, some sort of hit marker or damage caused to them. So recon, um, probably probably blast shield or assassin again, and stalker. I'm gonna have to use a bunch. Um, so guys, that's it. This gameplay is. Just about over. Um, it's not a, you know, insanely awesome gameplay, but that wasn't the focus of this video. So that is all I have to say, guys. Again, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Hopefully, this was informative. Check out some of my other videos. Let me know what you think. 
Um, and that is the final kill, guys. I go, I think, 25 and 19, something like that. No, 25 and 13. I don't know. My, uh, what does it say? 25, yeah, 25 and 13. So it's not, it's not a beast gameplay, but, you know, I got the job done. All right, guys, that's it. Appreciate you watching. Later.